Bonjour, mesdames and messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can retouch a lot of portraits in very little time with Perfectly Clear version 3. Bonjour, mesdames and messieurs. My name is Serge Germany. I'm a French photographer from the beautiful, the amazing city of Paris, France. And I make one to two tutorials per week. Click the subscribe button under this video if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel so you can get my free videos every week, once or twice a week. And also don't forget to click the little bell so you really get a notification when a free video comes along. All right, in this episode, I want to show you perfectly clear version three, plus I have got an amazing prize for you if you are interested in retouching a lot of portraits in a very professional way in very few clicks. Here you go. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So today I want to talk to you about a plugin that I use very, very often. In fact, I use it every time I do a photo shoot. Not because I'm lazy, but because I like things to go fast. And, uh, you know, I will give you an example. It's a plugin called Perfectly Clear. And I use it mostly for portraits. It does great things with landscape, which I'm going to show you. And they just came up with a whole bunch of new options in version 3. So, uh, for example, this is a photo shoot that I did uh, uh, with a friend of me. And I've got a very bad skin, so I'm like a good candidate for this. So I'm going to open these two photos and I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit them in perfectly clear version 3. That's going to open the software. It's going to create a TIFF file, you know, that I can work on. And right off, you know, the bat, uh, it looks kind of cool. You can cl click here the before and after to, uh, you know, see uh, the, the changes. And basically, I like to work with preset. It's got a great preset, um, one that I like a lot. You can click on the first one, for example, it's called HD Intelligence Auto, Vivid, Beautiful, uh, Beautiful Plus. Now, Beautiful Plus is gonna is really gonna change the skin a lot. So I like to start with Beautiful, and uh, and then let me show you some of the new options that they have. One of the new options that they have that I really like is in the color section. They have something called Color Restore, where it basically brings like a, a deep contrast to the photo, which I really like. So on this one, I'm going to do that. Color Vibrancy, I'm not going to touch. I don't want this to be more vibrant. Fidelity, uh, I'm not sure what it does yet. I've, you know, basically the idea is that it's going to be uh, more toward what it was originally. But on this one, I'm not going to use it on this photo. Let me show you the before and after. Uh, on this one, that's all I'm going to do. I want to show you how fast it goes because I really like take about 10, 20 seconds to retouch a photo. Um, the one thing I like a lot is uh, the, on the face, they have the face contouring. If you want to lose a few pounds, you know, I've had a few too much croissant. I can lose a few pounds or not. I'm not going to do it on this time. I want to like a natural re uh, um, retouch. This photo shoot was made for like my portfolio as an actor. And so I kind of like the shoot, but I just wanted, you know, a pretty natural thing. But I wanted my skin to be a bit more nice. So by default, because I use beautiful, I have the perfectly smooth which is set to 36. I can make it more, but then my skin looks like a baby or I can, you know, make it last to make it more real. So I still want to have a, you know, a real skin, but I, I want some of the blemishes to be out. So maybe the blemishes removal, I'm going to boost a bit and maybe just a perfect smooth, just to have like a little, uh, you know, kind of cool skin and you'll see it better on the other retouch. And I can even go into makeup now. That's a new option they have. And I can go to skin toning and I can do like full body and I can change, you know, I can go white, uh, pale, warm, tan, you know, I can go maybe a little bit of tan and I can do it very lightly or very strongly. Like I really got sunburn, you know, but that's kind of cool to be able to change a little bit the skin. And um, basically that's it on this one. That's all I'm going to do. So what I like to do when I have something that I, so I'm going to call, I'm going to save this as a preset. I'm going to click here. And all that I did here, I'm going to save it as a preset. So I'm going to click Add, and I'm going to call it uh, Surge um, Tall, because I'm tall in a photo. OK. And here you see it says one out of two. I can go to the next photo, which is my close up. And uh, well, that doesn't work really well. It's got some weird presets applied to it. Maybe what I just did here. So I, I, I can go back to the perfect clear essential. And I can go back to beautiful, which is what I usually do. Uh, and on this one, I want to add this sort of uh, deep photo. So I'm going to go back to the uh, tone exposure and sorry, color, color restore. I love color restore what it does. 
and I'm going to make it much more deep. Uh, let's go right away to the, uh, you know, uh, the eyes. The eyes on Hansfer is pretty good. Look at this before, after. It makes the eyes really pop. Maybe a bit too much. I'm going to turn it down. Face contouring, maybe a little bit. Not too much. You see, if I go too strong, I'm really thin. But just maybe a little bit, you know. Kind of like, okay, a few croissants left. Less. Okay, skin. Now, the skin... I like perfectly smooth to be around 36. I like that. But I want more blemish removal. Uh, infrared removal. I, I don't. Yeah, infrared. Oh, yeah, actually, look what infrared does. It takes out like this. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, it takes out all the red from your skin. You know, sometimes you've got this red, uh, bl uh, you know, blushing. Take that out. Um, maybe a little bit more of uh, perfectly smooth. Let's see. Before the skin. After the skin, yeah, that's perfect. I love that because it's it's still very natural. You know, I could go crazy here and look like a five years old, but I don't do that. You know, I just put a bit less attention on my skin. Okay, it's it's still a bit better. And then I can go here to makeup. Let's see if we can do a bit of toning here. So I just go through white. I look a bit sick, pale. A little, you know, I'm in California now. I got a bit of a tent now. So uh, maybe. Maybe warm, maybe warm and a bit less. I can go very warm, like very natural. I can go here. Now, I wish the software would correct, you know, I'm, I actually had a sunburn that day, so I'm very white here. And uh, you see, even if I go to full body, uh, it does not go here. I think uh, they can probably improve the algorithm that takes the neck into account. So that's kind of a downside. And so, but this is good. I mean, the. The software could need a bit of improvement. It crashed on me a couple of times, but I still love it. I still love it because it's it's just like, you'll see why. Sometimes I have to correct like 20 photos. And if I would go and open each photo and do a color separate, you know, uh, like really high-end retouching, it would take me forever. Sometimes I just don't have the time. And this is kind of cool. So if you... If you're not expert in Photoshop, that's, that's a good way to, you know, be better looking very fast. So I like that. So I did my two photos. I'm going to click on save and it's going to process the file and put it back into Lightroom. And now uh, we have the before and the after for the portrait and the before and the after for the close up. Now, I'll give you an example why I love this plugin. This is a photo of, of a friend of mine who played in a Hollywood and Sergio. He's a. Uh, a great Spanish actor living in Los Angeles. And so I did a whole photo shoot with him and I'm going to select all the photos which have the kind of like the same tones. And I'm going to right click, edit, and perfectly clear complete V3. And the one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to correct one photo and then I'm going to synchronize the correction on all the other photo because they were taken into the same moment of light. So. Here I am, and I'm going to go back to beautiful, so you see. On this one, I think I want to, um, I want to, I want to, I want to, to do some color restoration. Yeah, color restore. I like how it makes, you know, the very deep, the blacks. I think, you know, it makes him stand out. Maybe add a bit more exposure on him. Uh, let's see here. Depths is interesting. Sometimes depths does some cool things. Uh, that's good. Uh, sharpening, yeah, I can add a bit of sharpening. Face selection, you see that he was selected. You can actually even do that on group photos. I haven't tried, but it's really good. Okay, uh, the skin, the skin is pretty good. This is a before and after. I don't want to over retouch the skin. You know, you don't want to go too much. And uh, let's see the, uh, the makeup. Maybe a little bit of skin toning, uh, full body. Let's go, let's see. Pale. Usually, I sort of overdo it by, you know, putting this all the way. White, uh, pale, warm. I like tan. Maybe tan is good, but a lot less. Just a little bit of skin toning. You know, and you know, all of this you could do in Photoshop, but it, it, it takes a while. And when you have 20 of that to do, believe me, you're happy to have perfectly clear. So let's say that I'm happy with that. That's the before. That's the after. You know, it's. His skin is cool. I love how I did the contrast there, you know. So now you have this option. Oh, yeah, one thing I want to show you, which is new in, in the new version. And uh, that is here's a strands. Strands. You see, you can go and lower all the settings in one shot. If you're like, oh, I went too far or too strong, it's going to, you see how it follows all the settings. I think this is so cool. That's something I don't see uh, 
in some other programs that you know Lightroom could have a strand setting where you retouch a photo and say, oh I went too far and you can go back it with one slider I think that's a, a smart idea okay let's say I think I like that let me show you the before and the after and you can see also the before and after this way side by side so or you can just use that to move it around but I like to do like this click on this one and then just click on the mouse to see the before and after. I think it's it's better. Okay, now that I'm done with this, you see here it says synchronize settings. Uh, and if you over, it says apply current settings to all remaining photos. I have eight remaining photos. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to apply this look to the remaining photos. And I'm going to click save. And it's going to take a little while. And I'm going to go back into Lightroom. And, it's, and Lightroom is going to update. And they're all going to be retouched uh, with this uh, settings. So... For example, that's the before, that's the after, that's the before, that's the after, that's the, be the before, that's the after. You see, in one click, I, I retouch eight photos. I think this is really cool, like Lightroom, but this one is doing skin, it's doing everything. Okay, next, I want to show you, uh, like, well, this one I would retouch it on its own, but I'm not going to show you that. Yeah, last but not least, I want to show you also, and. I and honestly, I'm not really using it for landscape because I love my Lightroom and, and, and Photoshop workflow. But I want to show you that there's some really cool stuff. This is a photo I shot in New York upstate uh, in the Catskill Mountains uh, during the end of the foliage. I came a little too late. And uh, on this one, I can go to Color Restore to add a bit of strands. But you see, they have something which I really like. They have Sky on Hands. And you have different sky on hands, uh, blue sky royale, blue sky. You can just you know check them out and see which one you like the most. Blue sky aquamarine, uh, night on hands, and uh, I'm going to take blue sky aquamarine. Of course, you've got the strengths, very retouch, not very retouch. And look at this, just before and after, just with a few sliders, what it did, you know. And uh, so on this one. Uh, the, but the other thing I want to show you, and because it's a, a foliage photo, is this one. Foliage on hands. Maximum green. That's not what I want. I want the golden rod. A golden rod and put some strands there. And that's going to you know, make really the autumn color pop. Let's see the before and the after. And if you want to go even more crazy, uh, they have uh, at the end, they, they have a new section called looks. So I can activate the looks. And they actually have... In the color, um, in the color grade, they have awesome. So now I'm adding this look on top of it. So check it out before and after. I mean, it's like on fire, you know, but sometimes it works great with the foliage. So, you know, I'm just starting to learn the software. I'm not an expert in any way, but in a few hours, I was able to get some really cool results. And the ability to be able to retouch photos so fast you know, especially portraits. Imagine you're shooting a wedding and you've got like, you know, 200 uh, people to retouch, groups of four or five people. You can just retouch one photo and synchronize your skin retouching on all the photos. Isn't that cool? Come on. All right. So this software usually costs $129. But if you use the link that you find in the newsletter or under this video, it's going to be a unique link. Only for people who see that link, you can pay 40% off, $77.40. Uh, Perfectly Clear is the my number one plugin for anything portrait related. It's I use it all the time. I fully recommend it. I negotiate it with them so you get a good price on it. It's really worth the money. Check it out. It's Mac and PC, so no problem there. Uh, I would say if you take any portraits, if you're a wedding photographer, you know, if you have a lot of you know, you want to go fast, you want to do some good retouching in very little time, this is the perfect thing for you. Even if you're just an amateur, you just want your photo to look good and, you know, your wife to look great, this is for you. I'm really sending it because I would have loved to have created that plugin, but I did not. They did it and they did a great job. Check it out. Perfectly clear, version 3.